A non-flopper, you know who that is? That would be Giannis. That would be Giannis Antetokounmpo. So before the season, I tagged him as my MVP. Correct. I did not believe that he was going to be this level of an MVP player. Now look, the season is young, all right? Yeah, We're, uh, uh, what is it, uh, three games into the season, nonetheless. Giannis put up 44, he missed two huge free throws, but made up for it in an even more impressive way by blocking Yusuf Nurkic's, uh, what he thought was an easy layup slash dunk, helping out on defense, going over and blocking Nurkic's, Nurkic's that's tough to say. Nurkic, times. Joseph Nurkic? No, 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 Nurkic's. Nurkic's. Say three times fast. Nurkic's, Nurkic's, Nurkic's. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> so nonetheless, uh, and I need to stop saying that as well. So uh, Giannis had a big play. He is averaging about 39, I want to say, on the season, if not 38. How exactly has he become this player? Is he already your MVP candidate oh, for the season? For you, now he's actually the favorite to win MVP. He is the favorite. Years. I actually have those odds if we want to pull Did that they, up. They uh, the MVP it. odds as of this morning. Thank you, Giannis. Some guy named LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Durant, so on and so forth. Some value is still taking James Harden there uh, when they eventually turn it on, especially with Chris Paul injured. But Giannis, yeah, right now is the runaway. Through three games of overreaction NBA basketball. Um, it's funny because the audience always says, especially because the Bucks played the Raptors, I love the Bucks. I love the Bucks since Giannis came onto this team in Thon Maker draft and Chris Middleton and even Tony Snell. Yes. Uh, Greg Monroe when he was there. Uh, still there? No. Why am I? Greg thinking? Monroe? Yeah, I don't know why, but this is like He's three, not? This is like three. No, he is there. I'm he sorry, is there. But he yeah. was relevant three years ago, is my point. Oh, with the Pistons. Yes, yeah. is my point. Um, and continuing with this, Jabari Parker being injured, if he could ever stay on the court, would be a, a immense help to the team. But last year, part of the issue was Chris Middleton being injured. That was part of the reason why the Bucks were never able to completely unlock this plan. So as a team in itself, they're not necessarily all elite players, truthfully, Giannis is making a jump from fucking tier to into tier one just through three games and just from what we've seen. Uh, to be fair, uh, it was a foul on CJ McCollum. They absolutely should have called it. When you watch that back, he's got one arm wrapped around uh -huh. like his waist and he's got another going in. And I get the idea that this, this 20 feet of wingspan Theoretically, yeah, he could have poked it out if it wasn't for him stopping with one hand. And Jonas's hand is bigger than CJ McCollum's body, to be fair. Um, but it was a foul. Having said that, it's still a good defensive play. It was an aggressive defensive play. It was something. Do that, they get that call away from home? No, no way. In Portland, that's not getting called. And, it's, I agree. and I don't think that gets called. I think in the playoffs that gets stopped uh, too. However, when it comes to Giannis in itself, um, the most insane number I've seen is that I think he's still shooting 20% from three. So here's a guy who's averaging 38 points per game without needing to unlock that three point shot, which mm -hmm. he still might because he's getting more confident from behind that line. On top of all of that, this guy last year finished top five in all, I'm sorry, top 20 in all five major categories. That's never happened. I was going to say, that's, that's impressive. never happened. In the, he's going to finish top 10 this year. Yeah. It's never happened in the top 20. The writing has been on the wall for Giannis for three, four years. That's why, like for example, the audience says uh, in the comments for about three years, every time I pick the Bucks to beat the Raptors in the playoffs, <laughs> Jason, will, Pro you Raptors get, crowd. will you get Giannis's nine foot dick out of your mouth? <laughs> My question to them would be, how do you know it's nine feet? Well, I mean, just by you know science and no, safe adjustment. No. <laughs> Look, at, <laughs> Look at his leg. Timely. You thought that was a leg. Super um, timely. So here's, here's my thing. I, I have one crazy statistic. And um, this is, uh, I believe, graphic nine, thank you. Giannis, his 115 points for the first three games is second in Bucks history, trailing only some guy named Lou Alcindor, AKA Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, by two points. Ray Ray never did it? No. Yeah, that's impressive. Ray Ray never did it. Jesus Shuttlesworth? Yeah. You would think that he would. Not in his first three games, no. but like, there's probably three no, games. No, like, he's stretches. probably in the top five Bucks he's of all time. He's maybe even third. But like we don't right now know he's, necessarily. He's top two. Huh? Ray Allen's one of the one of the We're talking about first three games. Oh, first three games. Yeah, yeah. I thought you meant you said all time. No, 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 no. Oh, all time yeah. for the first three games. All time for the first three games, correct. <laughs> A I little oxymoron in this shit. All it? time for only the first three games. Right, for, right. Uh, so game zero. What is the all time list ranking four of then seven, the 80. X factor and Y factor? Games four through for through eighty two. What I've seen personally with Giannis and his development is the ability to hit, to knock down a jumper when the defense is giving it to him because the last thing that they wanna do, and granted, Evan Turner was giving up 
six inches, five inches, uh, nowhere Did near Giannis's dick size, according to the audience. We're way off. <laughs> Samson by feet, <laughs> by feet actually. Uh, maybe that was the girth that I was talking about. So, with that being said. He's hitting the open jumper and he had a Dirk like fadeaway off of one foot against Evan Turner. So not only can he drive on you, not only are his handles getting better, but also he's hitting the jumper. If he develops that into a 41, 43, 44 ish percent from the is. field, and especially from the elbows, which apparently he has put in a ton of work it in the offseason. Last year. My God, man, he's going to be. I, I don't like saying he, LeBron or KD level, he but he's going is, to be the most unguardable player that we have best, in the NBA landscape. I am dying on this hill, and I will die on this hill. Three years ago, two years ago, there's a couple of clips where we talked about who will be the best player in the NBA in five or ten years. And I said Giannis a thousand percent because we've never seen somebody. What makes LeBron so special? We've never seen a linebacker who can play point guard. That's yep. essentially what he is. We've yep. never seen Magic Johnson on steroids with a slightly better jump shot as he got older. That's what LeBron James is. Uh, there's more magic in LeBron than there ever was Kobe or Michael. Now, when Giannis is take LeBron, grow him about three inches, give him a longer wingspan yeah, long, like that of like Kawhi Leonard, give him the ability to have a European influence on his game, which is where some of the league has already moved to. It's a three-point European, it's a three-point shooting European style of basketball that's infiltrated the NBA in a good way. And Giannis has unlocked all of that, except the three-point shot. I truly believe even if he can't shoot threes, because for a long time LeBron couldn't shoot, shoot threes year? from the field. From the three. Because last year, uh, Giannis shot, uh, shot uh, Giannis has been an extremely efficient shooter, not necessarily jump shooter, but shooter. He was 52% last year mm -hmm. per game. Uh, from three, I believe. Are you on he was, basketball reference? Yeah, he's twenty-seven point two percent from three. This year, he's What's only. What's from eighteen feet? Well, that I have to go deep. Oh, into okay. the, um, but the truth That's of the matter is, like, it's such a specific thing that it's not going to matter if he even shot thirty percent from eighteen feet. He's such a, a force. If they're going to give it to him and he's going to knock down thirty percent of those, truthfully, it's going to be fine because you're already seeing how much he can score by just getting to the line and being so dominant inside ten feet. You want to give him that shot, fine. But Giannis is smart. He's got a high basketball IQ. He understands that in general, with Chris Middleton being your three-point specialist, uh -huh. you don't need to ever shoot the three as long as Chris Middleton's healthy. Do they need to bring in one more three-point specialist just to space out the it floor when he's there? It wouldn't hurt them, but at the same time, when Jabari Parker gets back from injury, then that's going to be your next budding star because he was on an all-star-esque path before he got injured last right. year. But from a three-point shooting perspective? It depends who you can bring in. Like, I, Truthfully, I think Eric Bledsoe should go to the Bucks. I think the Nuggets are insane not to call him or the Clippers are insane because of what happened no. to Theodosis. Or the Nuggets. The Nuggets and the Clippers are the two teams that definitely should be calling, but the Bucks should be that, that sequence. Oh, I actually got a quick update on that. Um, Bloodsoe? The Suns sent Eric Bloodsoe home after meeting with the team, won't play as we're shooting this tonight against the Kings. That's according to ESPN. Is so the Kings? It's already the, going to happen. They're He's so going to lucky, be away from Phoenix. They're so lucky the Suns are playing the Kings in Sacramento. If they were playing a team, with an offensive rating in the top 15, they might lose by 80 points. Yeah. It might be 150 to 30 by the end of the game. The Suns are bad, man. They're bad, they're horrible. But who's, well, no, I already answered my question. Who's worse, I'll just ask The you. Suns. The Suns, no, no, hang on. You need to calm down. It's the, the Suns. Sun, no, the Suns, I'll let Ja'Cory weigh in as well. The Suns, the Browns, or the 49ers? The Suns. You really think so? Worse than the Browns? The Suns are worse than the Browns. The Browns have at least shown the fact that they can score. Like they can actually get The Suns haven't been points. unleashed yet to show that they can score. Unleashed? Who's yeah. holding them back? Earl Watson. Earl Watson was not holding it back. <laughs> Earl Watson deserved I, I think, to be fired. I understand I, why he did it, but it's equally so on the You're saying right now if you were taking a franchise, you'd rather have the Browns over the Suns just from sheer roster. Nothing about Worth nothing about ownership, nothing. That's just the a players. different question because just you're talking players. about the future. Because I like Devin Booker and I like I like Josh Jackson, yeah. so I would take the Suns. However, the Suns are worse than the Browns are right now, and in, in a thing we can't really technically argue across different sports. But I think the Suns are worse than the Browns. Part of that is because of what I mean. They've equally made really bad management decisions, trading Isaiah Thomas, letting go of Goran Dragic, giving up the. Uh, they took Dragon Bender, who could still technically play, Don't not the yet. power forward. He should be playing something else. Uh, on top of that, they gave the Lakers. Uh, they got rid of the Lakers pick. So mm -hmm. bad moves. Devin Booker. 
upright young shooting guard, Josh Jackson. Josh Jackson, hell of a player defensively in transition, somebody who could be a good piece as like the third and a half guy on a team, will never be your number one or number two. Right, still um, TBD. Still very TBD. Still TBD but with a him lot of and promise. Bender. So the Suns are bad. That Suns has nothing to do with Giannis. If Giannis played the Suns, he might score 100 like his boy. Well, that's Will. But Kareem also put up some massive numbers too.